What's up everyone? Today I'm down at Jaguar, Land Rover, Porsche, Volvo of Greenville getting to check out the 2018 Range Rover Velar. Huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. And the model that we're looking at today is the first edition. It's finished off in chorus gray and has an MSRP just under 92000 Six different models are offered this year with four different engines. There's the standard two liter turbocharged four cylinder, the two liter turbo diesel, the three liter V6, and what we're looking at today is the three liter supercharged V6. All are paired to the eight speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. This engine produces 380 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 332 pound feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. This is all wheel drive, weighs around 4,200 pounds, 0 to 60 can happen in the low 5 second range with a top speed of 135 miles an hour. And based off a 15.8 gallon fuel tank you can estimate the MPG to be 21 city and 27 highway. The wheelbase measures 113 inches, it has an overall length of 189 inches, the width is 84.4 inches and it has a height of 65.5 inches. Starting up front with the high mounted trapezoidal shaped grille. LED headlights are standard with a burnished copper detail finish around them. Air intakes are on either side of the lower section of the front bumper, separated by a large mesh grille with a forward facing camera and parking sensors. There's also LED daytime running lights and the color contrasting lower bumper. There's also very nice copper accents located in front of the side mirrors along with on top of the hood. The wheels on the first edition are upgraded to 22 inches with a 9 split spoke design to them with a diamond tuned finish and two tone color. Disc brakes are in all four corners measuring 13.8 inches up front and 12.8 inches in the rear. The D pillar and the rear window meet at a very close point giving the roof line a dramatic rear slope. There are flat folding deployable door handles which provide the car a very clean look while moving down the road. And a nice color contrasting side skirt. And finishing up with the integrated rear spoiler, the standard LED tail lights and backup camera, this vehicle can tow up to 5,500 pounds and has an optional deployable tow bar. There's six parking sensors in the rear bumper and the rectangular shaped dual exhaust. And now with the key we'll go ahead and take a more in-depth view of the interior. This vehicle has the flush mounted door handles again. With the key in my pocket I just push on this button here. They'll automatically open up along with these side mirrors. The door panel is finished off in very beautiful white leather with white stitching. Above that we have a copper carbon fiber finish with first edition written out on the bottom. More white leather with your aluminum release handle. We have all of your memory seat adjustments, your lock and unlock with your automatic window controls. This has the upgraded Meridian sound system, a little bit of storage space down below. The seats are a combination of perforated leather running along the center and solid leather on either bolster. Memory seats with 20 way adjustability, they're also heated and cooled. You have all of your adjustments down there. And once inside I'll go ahead and double tap on the engine start stop button so you can see all the gauges light up. And then with my foot on the brake I can go ahead and start it up. Once inside we're greeted by a fully wrapped black and white leather steering wheel with great hand positioning on either side. This vehicle offers the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters which are quite large. You can hear them click there. On the right side of the steering wheel we have your heated steering wheel option, your lane keeping assist and cruise control. On the right side is all of your Bluetooth controls and these up top will control your center screen. In using these touch memory buttons they will actually disappear when you're not using them and when I go ahead and click menu you'll see everything change again that way we can scroll through our different options. And the first edition offers the optional 12.3 inch HD display system. You can scroll through all of your different driver assistance technology features like collision avoidance, your lane keeping assist, different features like that. Scroll through your trip, your display, 
You can also change the view, that way you can see your full navigation setup. You have your speedometer and fuel gauge on the left, your tack and engine temperature on the right. Of course, when you do go to a different view, those will disappear. Moving to the left of the steering wheel, we have the parking brake and the trunk release in the rear. One air vent, very nice Alcantara on the A-pillar and headliner. And coming along the center, we have two air vents. So this first screen has your navigation, your media, and your Bluetooth. You can go to a couple other different settings as well. Your screen angle, if you can see, this is actually popped out just a little bit when the car is turned on. We can take a look at all of your different cameras on the vehicle. We have your 360. We can go through your front and rear camera as well just by pushing on one of these arrows. There's also a camera under each side mirror so we can go between left and right, which is very cool to see. Moving to the second screen, you have all of your climate control settings along with your heated and cooled seats. You can control both of those, all of the different settings for them. And moving back to your climate control settings, also on your vehicle, you have the different driving modes. So we can go to comfort, grass, gravel, and snow. We have mud and ruts and sand, and then along with an eco button as well. So depending on the terrain you're taking this vehicle, Looks like we can raise and lower the vehicle too at the push of a button here. It'll go all the way into its lowest setting and then we can push it back up and it'll go into the highest setting. There's also three rotary dials. The left one, instead of using your finger, you can go ahead and scroll through the different options. You have your radio on and off and volume switch and then your fan speed on the right. When you start the vehicle up, the drive selector will automatically pop up. We're gonna go ahead and put it into reverse so you can see that backup camera again. And then we're gonna put it all the way over into sport mode. So we need to push the dial down and go over to S. We can hit this helmet here on the right side and we can go through all of the different dynamic setups. So you can go through the whole suspension, the steering, engine, gear shift. To the right of the shifter, if we push on the Land Rover button, you'll see a cup holder up here, along with one behind that and some storage space. We have a split armrest in the center and you can control each side individually. Then we can go ahead and open up the center compartment. You have a good amount of room down there with some HDMIs and a 12 volt. We'll take one look at the glove box. You have a good amount of room down there. We'll take another look at the beautiful white leather interior. This also has the panoramic roof. You have all of those controls located up in the center here. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the rear seating. And the door panel has the same design obviously with the white leather and the copper weave and the carbon fiber. I really hope the camera can pick this up. Looks very nice. You have two speakers in the door with some storage space located below. And this is a five-seater vehicle, so let's go ahead and hop in. Behind both front seats, you have a little bit of storage space. You have your fan adjustments with a 12-volt and two USB ports. There's a center pullout that has two cup holders in it. Good amount of room back here. I am 5'10". I have plenty of headroom, and I have plenty of footroom as well. Very comfortable to be back here. So if you need any more room, you have the option to fold those down as well. So now it's time to take a look at the rear storage space and I can either push this button on the key fob or obviously walk up to the vehicle. You can see there's a couple different things that you get with this vehicle. There's 34.4 cubic feet of space back here with this removable tenu cover. And then obviously if you fold all the seats down, plenty more room. You have a 12 volt and a few more speakers in the back. There's definitely a ton of storage space back here and I can go ahead and push on the rear of the gate there. It'll automatically close. All right, so now I am taking this Velar first edition out for a test drive. This is a pretty awesome opportunity. They're only making 500 of these and they're only making them for the 2018 year model. So let's go ahead and start this up. So the first thing I wanna talk about this vehicle is its off-road capabilities. Now, obviously being brand new, we're not gonna be able to take it on their test track here at the dealership, but I will go ahead and throw in a clip of the Discovery when I was able to do a review on that. The Velar comes standard with permanent four-wheel drive and it also has the optional Land Rover Terrain Response System 2, which will automatically detect changes in terrain and put the vehicle into the correct setting. This vehicle has a 24 degree breakover angle, a 26 degree departure angle, and 24.3 degree approach angle. It does have a 25 and a half inch weighting depth. You can get the optional sensors, which will tell you on the screen where the water level is, which is pretty awesome. Not too many people will be taking these off-road. I wish we could see more of these off-road. It also has a ground clearance of 9.9 .9 inches, and as you saw, it can raise and lower the vehicle. It will automatically put it into the correct ride height for the different 
off-road situation that you're in. Optional is also a rear locking differential and that is only available on the V6. So let's move on to the visibility of this SUV. It's quite large, it does have great visibility. Obviously looking out of the front windshield, you have a clear view. The A-pillar is not as big, you can't actually see between the side mirror and the A-pillar. A quick glance over your left shoulder, you can easily see out of that rear glass. And then a glance over your right shoulder, there is a little bit of a blind spot over that passenger seat headrest, but it's not too bad. Moving on to the technology offered in this vehicle, you have the uh, adaptive dynamics, which I mentioned, the electronic air ride suspension. You have the automatic access height, which lowers the vehicle to 1.6 inches, emergency braking, your lanes keeping assist, rear traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, everything that you would expect to see in an SUV like this. Really not much body roll. Let's check out the supercharged V6. It definitely gets up and moves. You know, it's not super quick, but for the weight of this vehicle, the low five second range is very impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over to sport mode now. I can use the paddle shifters. Instant response in those paddle shifters. As soon as I click it up or click it down, the RPMs immediately change into the next gear. Moving on to the overall comfort of this vehicle. I absolutely love the steering wheel. It actually faces inwards towards me just a little bit, which gives it just that much more comfort when you're holding on to it. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's very comfortable. I love the two-tone design to it with the silver stripe running along the center of it. And then these seats are equally as comfortable. They have 20-way adjustability, so there are so many different settings you can configure to get this to the setting that you'd like. And then they have the optional heated cooling, memory seat adjustments, everything about it is just so comfortable. The bolsterings are nice and supportive. And just the overall feel of this interior, I love both of these center screens. They're not too confusing. Everything is laid out very well so that you can read everything. You have all of your hands-free controls on the steering wheel along with your center screen in the gauge setup. And everything is just so flush. There's not too many buttons. There's the three rotary dials in the center, four if you include the drive selector. So everything is just very clean looking. And now we're gonna test out the brakes on this car. Coming to a stop. They definitely do a great job at bringing this car to a stop. And I also noticed while I'm stopped right now, the vehicle actually shut off while my foot is on the brake. So when I go ahead and let off, it starts back up again, put my foot on the gas, and I'm back on my way. So that's a very nice fuel efficient feature on this vehicle. And last up that I'll go over is just the overall driving experience in the Velar First Edition. It is so smooth. I'm not on a very good road right now. It's absorbing all of the bumps very well. Being a five-seater, there's definitely plenty of room for a full set of adults to be in here. You have plenty of room behind those back seats as well to store anything that you need. Everything is just so premium feeling in this ride. It really is great to be inside. I love the headliner, everything is Alcantara and suede. Now we'll go ahead and take one last look from the passenger side. The interior feels very premium with the beautiful white leather, runs along the whole dash. You have the two center screens very cleanly hidden away there. Very beautiful seats. We'll take one last look from the rear seats. You can see definitely a lot of room back here with your view out of the back. So that is my walk around review and test drive of the 2018 Range Rover Velar First Edition. Huge thanks again to Jaguar, Land Rover, Porsche, Volvo of Greenville for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. Just the quality of this vehicle, all of the standard features that it comes with, its off-road capabilities, everything about this vehicle is just amazing. It has so much to offer and it's definitely a very awesome SUV to be able to check out. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay tuned for plenty more content to come. I'll see you all next video.